Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're well. I spoke in a live the other day about how I wasn't able to do a Luma Crate and Fairly unboxing for a little while because I'm so busy with uni, I was like, I'm just gonna unbox them on lives. However, then <laughs> I saw everyone and their mum, like lit literally every single person who unboxed the January Fairy Loot talking about how it's the best book box they've ever received. Oh, let's be realistic. They've ever received. And so like, I just thought I'd be so angry at myself if I didn't film myself unboxing it. So that's what we're doing this week. I'm so excited. I've, I've successfully avoided all spoilers. I haven't watched any videos. I haven't looked at anything on Twitter. My favorite book box I've ever received was the first one from Fairy Loot, the one that had Star Daughter in it. That was my first ever unboxing video. And so we've got to see if it can top that. That's what it's aiming to top. Okay, now I'm gonna top. Let's just unbox it. I'm so excited. Unboxing makes me so happy. I'm gonna be real. I'm not feeling very well today. So I definitely need this to like make me feel a bit happier. I think the theme was something to do with Greek mythology. Yes, Greek mythology. Nice. Wait, Tom, Tom, Tom. Can you come put post-it notes over the book, please? So I don't spoil myself. Thank you. That looks like a good one. Really? So the theme this month is Greek mythology and we've got the spoiler card here with this nice little artwork on it. It's cute. I'm very excited. Let's just delve straight into it. I'm gonna pull out the first thing that I see. Oh my God, it's... Oh my God, it's so cute. <laughs> So this is a cupid and I assume it's Psyche. But it's like a little trinket tray where you would put like rings and stuff and it's got this artwork of them together on it. And it's like all Greek mythology inspired and like, it's so cute. I don't have many rings. Having like a lot of rings is something I aspire to. Like I'm not currently that woman, but I want to be. No, Tom, don't you, Tom, don't laugh at me. You know, like when they have their shit together and they just like have rings that they wear. Tom, shut up. Hello, I'm actually at the end of my tether. Um, I don't know whether I spoke. I've actually, I've had enough and I'm about to blow. No, okay, can you shut up now, please? Shut up, <laughs> onion rings. <laughs> I wouldn't say no. <laughs> I don't know what else I'd put on it at the moment because I don't, I don't have a ton of trinkets. <gasps> This could go on my bookshelf and hold all my book pins I've gotten in book boxes. Oh my God, okay, that's what I'm gonna do. When I go back home and I'm back with all of my stuff, I have like all my um, book pins on my bookshelf, just like on their own, but I'm gonna put them in this tray. That's so cute, okay. By the way, the illustration on this is by Tara Jar. What is this? <gasps> it's a metal bookmark, yay! I love metal bookmarks so much. Well, guess what people? I get excited about small things. In that box I mentioned, there was a Nevernight metal bookmark. So I wonder what this one is going to be. <gasps> oh my God, it's so pretty. <gasps> oh my God, it's so pretty. Oh my God, this is gonna be the bookmark I use all the time from now. Oh my God, I'm obsessed. Okay, so this is a metal bookmark and I'll show you a close up. Look how gorgeous that is. Like a glass window, like in a church kind of vibe, I feel like. It is so gorgeous, like the pinks and the browns and the beiges, I'm like obsessed. When I tell you, whatever book I start next, this is the bookmark I'm gonna be using. However, metal bookmarks are better. They, <laughs> they are better for hardbacks, I find, but you can use them with anything. So uh, this is gonna be the bookmark I use for the foreseeable future, like forever. I am, oh my God, it's designed by Mono Lime Art. Oh my God, I can't, I cannot believe how beautiful that is. It's so gorgeous. I love it so much. Okay, we are we are off to a great start. Oh my god, what's next? Ooh, okay. So next we've got a Medusa iron-on patch. If you have like a jean jacket or something, you can iron this onto it. I don't actually own a jean jacket. I feel like it's a staple I'm missing in my life. But anyway, I don't own a jean jacket, so I don't know what I would iron this onto, but it is really cute. And Medusa is one of my favorite like Greek mythology gals. I love her. I think she's an icon. <sighs> she is exquisite. I love her. 
I love her and I love her even more. A legend. I love whenever Medusa is in, in any other kind of media. But yeah, that's definitely cute. Who's this by? Elisa's World, I believe. And next we have this Percy Jackson art print. It's by Ars28. I have never read Percy Jackson and I feel like I need to, but I do like when they have these art prints. I need to figure out a way what I want to do with these art prints because I kind of just like shove them in my book trolley at the moment and they deserve more respect. Yeah, that is very gorgeous though. Like I love that illustration. Sometimes I just feel like I sit here, I cut this out when I'm editing, but I just sit here and I just stare at the illustration and just like admire it. I love their hair in this one. I'll try and have shown you the close up hopefully, but that's very cute. But I haven't read Percy Jackson and I feel like I need to. Oh my God, is that what I think it is? It is! <laughs> Do you ever get the urge to trot like a pony? Yay, we have a book sleeve. I love their book sleeve. Oh my God, it's a zipper one as well. This is the thing about Fairy Loot. They have zips on their book sleeves. And I can't tell you how much I appreciate that. Like, I think I think book sleeves need zips. They need zips. Like, it should be a requirement. Because then I can store stuff in them. Like, the one that I got from them in that book box I mentioned previously, I store all my bookmarks in this. They're good for like storing bookish things in them. So this says on it, but in a solitary life, there are rare moments when another soul dips near yours as stars once a year brush the earth. Um, so this, I believe, is from Circe. It very much like the design mirrors the Circe cover. I haven't read Circe yet. It's one of the oldest books on my TBR. So I do need to get around to it, but I haven't read it yet. I haven't read it yet. I know I need to, so don't have a go at me. I actually want to do a Greek mythology video and I have two books for it. So maybe whatever this is could be the third book and I can do that at some point. For some reason, I feel like Greek mythology is a very autumnal theme. So part of me wants to wait to autumn, but then I don't know if I'll just like be bored of the idea by then. So let me know if you want that sooner rather than later. That's so cute. I love the design. This is by Chatty Nora, the design on this. And it is just stunning. Okay, have we got anything? Oh my God, what is this? <gasps> Oh my god, get out. Oh my god, we've got a spatula! Tom, we've got a spatula for the kitchen with stuff on it. I could cook with it. No one says that, but yes. <laughs> okay, word. So this is a wooden spatula and it's got a quote on it that says, Did you know food is infinitely more scrumptious when you're in love? Very cute. That's gonna look so cute in the kitchen. That's such a unique item, but it's something I'm actually gonna use actually gonna use like in my day-to-day -day life. Like I can't, I have a use for this. Sometimes I think the like useful items you get in book boxes, I don't actually use, but I cook. I mean, we all cook. So, oh my God, this will be so much fun to cook with. I'll feel like such like, I'll feel so cool <laughs> cooking with this. Oh my God, I love it. We've got the tarot cards for this month, which are four of wands and three of wands. I believe these are from a book by Renee Adier, right? Yeah, they're from The Wrath and the Dawn by Renee Adier, and these are by Ars28. I haven't read that, but I do really want to read something by Renee Adier. I've heard so many good things about her books. So if you've read a lot of Renee Adier, let me know if you would recommend I start with this or maybe The Beautiful. I don't know. I don't know what to start with. So let me know what you think. Time, I believe, for the book. <gasps> so excited. <laughs> Oh my god, it's got gold edges. I'm gonna cry. Oh! Oh, it's law. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, I can't look okay. Wait, 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 wait. The book is Law by Alexandra Bracken. I think our main character is Law, but I think maybe they, they're Medusa. I, 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 I am trying to share. It's about like this punishment that is put on the gods every couple of years and her family gets killed and then she's on the run and she makes a deal with Athena, I believe. But look at it. Firstly, this is a different cover than what I've known. I've seen like the one with the, the Medusa, I believe like on the cover. The edge has this design on it, like the edge of the sleeve. And then the sprayed edge has this like gold and black snake design on it. And then this is what our end papers look like. And then you open it up and you've got like this Medusa illustration embossed on the on the hardcover itself. And then as always with Fairy Loop, you have these gorgeous backs to the to the the book sleeve. Um, like this artwork inside of the book sleeve and I just love it so much. It is so gorgeous. 
Oh my god, this is so amazing. Wow. I can't wait to read this. This is such a great bo book to get. I completely forgot about this book, but now I've got it. I'm so, so excited for it. It's actually one I'm genuinely excited for and can definitely fit into that Greek mythology video that I'm thinking of doing. So maybe I'll have to read it for that. So Fairly describes it as a contemporary fantasy inspired by Greek mythology and set in the modern world. It's a high octane tale of power, destiny, love, and redemption. Oh my God, I'm so excited. It is just so gorgeous. Like those, ed those sprayed edges are like so cool. I'm obsessed. That was such an amazing box. Like it's so close to that first book box. And I don't know if I loved that one so much because it was my first ever one. And so it was like, it felt so special. I think this is like a close second as my favorite ever box I've gotten. Like it's just so cool. I love a book sleeve and I love a metal bookmark. And like something about this wooden spatula just speaks to me. I don't know why. I'm just very excited to cook dinner now. <laughs> So yeah, I'm so, so excited. Oh my God, this was so amazing. I can't wait to read this. Let me know if you have read this already and what you thought. I have heard a lot of good things. So let me know in the comments if you've read this. If you've gotten to the end, comment the snake emoji. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. Thank you to Fairy Loop for sending this to me and I will be seeing you very soon in another video. Bye.